This is a very exciting and very challenging programme. It enables us to harness the fantastic advances that there have been in our scientific ability to sequence large amounts of DNA. And we're now facing the even greater challenges of trying to interpret all the sequence data that's being generated in order to look for alterations in the DNA that will help us understand the cause of conditions in the various patients who've been recruited to the project. Our process for consenting patients has been evolving over the last couple of years and is constantly changing. And it's very helpful to have feedback from patients to find out how did they find it? What did it feel like when they were first approached and offered recruitment to the project? Do they feel that they had easy access to the sort of information that they needed in order to make a decision? Did they have plenty of opportunities to ask questions afterwards? And have we managed their expectations in a realistic way so that they understand why it might be a very long time before they get any results? Well, really, because I was very, very interested in, in you know, helping in some way maybe future people that, that have similar conditions to what I've got. Also, I've got a, a concern within the family. I've got a brother and sister that at the moment aren't presenting in any way as having anything, but um, uh, they, they could have. So it may well, they're not involved in the project at all, but it might inform them. And we've all got children. I've got a daughter. So I, I think, um, you know, for f future generations as well, not just within my family, but perhaps other other people's families that have similar conditions. And also my wife is obviously very anxious about my health and potentially her daughter, our daughter. So um, I think it would be really interesting to be involved and, and um, you know, hopefully there can be positive outcomes from it. The benefit to others the benefit to myself and helping to, to be more clear in, in in treatments that may be available to me further down the line for anything that may be detected or diagnosed and uh, I'm also curious about the project I've, I've been aware of genome testing for quite some time but I've never really looked into it. So when it came up as an option, I was quite, as I say, curiosity and inquisitiveness. So I had a sister who was diagnosed with cancer and it was, the diagnosis came late and it was too late to treat her. So that's a sort of a lesson for me that, you know, it's better to know than not to know. I joined the program because my son, he's 12 years old, has a number of health issues that um, really have not been resolved. And, uh, Following a number of tests, uh, I was invited to join the project and I'm certainly very interested to know whether there is any gene genetic connection really and, and uh, I think generally I'm, I'm just interested in, in the scope of the project. Well wouldn't it be lovely to find some, some results that make a difference in the long run where, where we can predict and avoid um, sicknesses and illnesses? I suppose the main concern I had was what happens with this information? and whether it could adversely affect um, myself, my son or, or my family in, in some other way in the future in terms of their ability to be insured, for example. So, I'm, uh, but I've, I've been reassured that that's, that seems to have been anticipated um, and uh, I've got confidence in the, uh, in the project and the staff running it. So um, we go from there. The concerns were um, to remain anonymous. Apart from that, no concerns whatsoever. I find it an exciting project to be involved with. And, you know, I just think we had to put our trust in the um, personnel involved to make sure that we do remain anonymous. What, what I found was really, really reassuring to just be around a table meeting other people that are involved in the project and, you know, hearing a little bit about their stories. I mean, nobody really revealed too much, but, you know, people did go into a little bit of detail about what their experiences have been and what their concerns are and it's it's quite nice to hear other people's concerns and uh, in a way feel like that most of us have similar concerns and, and there's reassurance in realising that there are other people feeling similarly about the different issues that you might get when you're involved or when you've got a medical condition that no one can really explain. 
It was interesting to meet the other patients uh, and to hear why they're there uh, here. And um, uh, people have come for a number of different reasons, and I think that's really interesting. And um, uh, I think what I also learned today was just how how huge this is um, and its potential, hopefully, to improve people's lives. So um, I'm happy to be part of it.